My name is Tyler Shields. I'm a photographer, writer, director. I was a pro skater when I was a kid. I was a pro rollerblader. And then from there, I started making skate videos. Then I started making music videos. And then I took one picture, and that picture became famous on MySpace, and that changed my whole life. Obviously at that time, I didn't know anything about photography. I didn't know anything about fine art photography, selling prints. I didn't know that that was even a thing. But as I got into photography, I realized that the way that I do stuff wasn't necessarily for the magazines. I love the idea that if you're the most famous person in the world, you sit down and I'm the boss. I'm telling you, this is what we're doing. This is how we do it. And there's something very kind of freeing about that for the subject. Anybody that comes over, I like them to have the feeling of, I'm in, I'm in safe hands, basically. Photography is, you know, it's the ability to literally travel through time. If I wanna take a picture of Marie Antoinette, I can do that. I love the ability to say like, oh, okay, I wanna play in this world, and then just do it. It's just kind of my imagination. to do that one more time. So if you build a giant set, you can take a pretty cool picture. Shooting somebody just a portrait, taking like an iconic portrait of somebody can be very hard to do. And the best decision I ever made was going to medium format. What I was getting was exactly what I imagined. When I know I have to get a photo, that's just what I use. You can make a great image on anything, but the Hasselblad camera changed my entire career. The ability that it gave me for when I'm making a print and the ability that it gave me to trust in the image, I didn't have to do anything to it. One of the things that I want people to understand is I don't really do commercial work. Making the large prints, I mean, that's my, that's my business. It's all printing, it's all selling prints. You can really tell the difference in 35, or DSLR versus a medium format. As I kind of got into using the Hasselblad, I discovered the different printing processes. I found a lab in Flagstaff, Arizona. I went, I made my first platinum palladium. And while I was there, I said, how big could you guys do this? And they said, oh, well, I mean, you know, I think, I think 30 or maybe 40 inches was the biggest they could ever do. And I said, well, what if you built a whole new kind of tray set up? And they were like, well, that would be very expensive. And I was like, well, what if you built a whole new tray set up? You see the, the platinum just splash onto that print. It's like nothing you've ever seen. Medium format will still be great 50 years from now. And I know a lot of people would be like, well, if you have 100 megapixel back, why put the film on? But that's all preference for the photo. Like my thing is whatever serves the photo best, if it's film or digital, then it doesn't matter. I mean, you, you can literally just mix and match whatever you want. And that freedom, you just, you don't have that with any other setup. History somehow ties into all of this because I like shooting things in a different time and I like printing ways from a different time and using cameras from a different time.